Well, this is Bullet Garage here, and I figured I'd do a one-year update of owning the 2016 Ford F-150 Lariat. It's been exactly one year that I've owned this truck, and you see I got 18,567 miles during that year. And this is going to be the top five things I hate about my F-150. And the first one, number five, is the cup holder. It's just so freaking annoying that you have the shifter here and in drive and you have your cup or can or whatever and you have to reach up and over for your drink. And not only that, you also have condensation or whatever, it's dripping. It all drips inside of here and collects. And also in here, AKA the pen holder, but it is so annoying. And the, these top five is gonna be, you know, first world problems, gripes, whatever me whining but either way you know that's the number one thing or number five i should say it's what i find annoying number four the hvac controls they are so not intuitive when you're driving on what button you're pressing and what the settings are um, the fan speed the heated seats i really don't like that the first button you press is on high and then you have to click it three more times to turn it off. And, you know, defrost, floor, I mean, and the fan. As you're driving, it's just, I mean, you have to look to see what you're touching as you're driving. And the main control on sync three, I mean, that isn't much better, especially while you're driving. And then also an extension of that, the steering wheel heated steering wheel button i think should be easier access than to have to go on the main control panel but that is so annoying and also on that i guess number three would be the cruise control buttons same thing you kind of have to look to see what buttons you're pressing as you're going along it's it needs to be some more like grooves or like knobs or something to kind of tell you where you're at Freaking annoying. Number two would be the nav. If it'll zoom, there you go. On the nav, it does not know how to do directions worth a snot. Especially in Las Vegas. I've been to Las Vegas twice now and it had no clue what it wanted to do. It absolutely loves U-turns. And even around here, I know where I'm going. I'll go ahead and put in a destination that I've already been to. I know how to get there. And even still, the directions are horrendous. It's way better to use Google or whatever on your phone than to use this, um, which is a shame. I mean, it looks nice. It's nice that you have the directions here and then it also comes up on this screen here the turn signal but still I don't want to be doing constant u-turns and whatnot because this thing doesn't know where it is and then the number one thing and I think a lot of guys would agree is the wind noise and on my previous video scene I put the surgical surgical tubing inside the weather stripping I've adjusted the front door hinges I've also adjusted the striker um, and it helps quite a bit, but it's not great. There's one member that thinks he's narrowed it down to the keypad on the outside. He resealed it and then put a uh, one of those chrome bezels around the outside, and he says it helped a lot. I haven't done that yet to verify. I guess it's worth a shot, especially since it's really hard to describe that wind noise. It's not like it's buffeting from like bad seals or anything. It almost does sound like it comes from inside the door, like, which would make sense if it's the keypad and it's leaking there and it's going inside the door, it would kind of sound like it's internal. Like I said, it's hard to describe and it doesn't really come up on video or anything as you drive along. Other than that, it's a very quiet truck. That's number one. And I guess you could call that a mechanical issue. The rest is just, you know, first world problems, cup holder, HVAC cruise control and nav I think Ford could have done a lot better job with the ergonomics and whatnot on those things 
But that was my top five things I hate about my 2016 Ford F-150. Peace.